hey, this is just a little snippet of a conversation I have with a coaching client. So just check it out. This will give you a little insight on what I do weekly with my clients. All right, I looked back at all of our emails and then I realized like you have an outline of how it works. And last week I feel like I just asked a bazillion questions and probably messed up learning a lot of no. stuff. I don't know. No, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, yeah. the outline I have is more or less, this is what I think would work, but you do, you do whatever you want. Honestly, okay. I know trying to practice at home is difficult. And so we can just kind of move at whatever pace you're moving at. Okay. Um, how, how has the practice been going? Are you having, is there something specific you're struggling with? Are you doing okay? You know, I feel good with the practice. I think that it probably would have been best if I had been icing and taking it off icing at, from the beginning. But I think because I started with my daughter's birthday cake, I was trying to make that so perfect. Yes. But really the best thing to do, what, which I, all I did this week was just over and over. I just took that icing off and did yep. it again, took it off. And in that, now I feel like I can ice a cake really well well and make it smooth, which I was thinking, if I can't get past this, I'm never going to make it. But, but it know, is the hardest do. part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all about um, like muscle memory, like your hands just get in the groove of doing the same thing every time and feeling the consistency of the icing, getting used to that. Like, and the, all you can do with that is do it over and over and over again. No matter yeah, how my many confidence times. is a lot yeah. better now. And um, I just put my earbuds in and listen to your words on the icing. I <laughs> just kept doing it over and over and I just turn it back on and do it again. <laughs> that makes sense though. But I mean, yeah, I, I don't. I was trying to think back when I was learning and everything and um, I was watching a lot of YouTube and mm -hmm. I had a lady that had made my wedding cake. And so if I had a major problem, I would call her like if I did something and it totally collapsed or something, I couldn't figure yeah. out why I would call her. But it's just a lot of me staying there trial and error. Do it, right. do it again, do it again, do it again and see what works. And so I got to the point where I was just making cakes for whatever reason. Yes. Like, yeah, just to have a reason to try it and to practice it. And so, it, you know, we probably ate way too much cake during that first year. But <laughs> yeah. but you have to because you have, it's like I need to make something basically every week yeah. to keep it in the habit of, yeah, yeah. So, no, I totally get it. I totally get it.